Show, 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 show. Shania, Shania. And if we look to the left of the deck, we see Mr. Big Shot himself, up from the big city, Mr. Sean Hughes. Right, so I've been walking now, we're coming to our accommodation. Uh, already now there's a bit of traditional music and we're away. <laughs> Thanks. So it's so nice to be on my own, like, I've been so tranquil and, well, when I say alone, I mean with 15 members of the crew that I have with me, but you're still at peace with yourself. Right, well, we seem to be at the address from the guidebook, 3A The Hills. Luxurious four-bedroom. This guidebook's 1952. What's going on? What sort of budget are we on here? For Look, I knew I shouldn't do anything with the BBC. Where's the schedule? Right. OK, right, we check into uh, a hotel or something next, then I go for a walk, um, go to some shops. And uh, What's this uh, tomorrow morning? I, I go to a farm. Yeah, well, you said you wanted to get back to nature. Yeah, but I don't think you realise it says, Sean gets up at half six at farm. Like, I'm not fanatical about getting back to nature. I don't mind watching the odd nature programme and walking. Just been finding out about the local culture, and I've talked to one of the locals, and they said, ah, 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 That's a chicken, actually. But I found out, apparently, that you need a crook on this island to get by. I'm not sure what it is, but the guy who I was talking to says he feels naked if he doesn't have a crook. Mind you, he was naked at the time. That's another story. So there's a little old man here who I'm going to go and visit. He's not used to the big lights and celebs like me, so we'll just be nice with him and hopefully he'll make us a crook like, you know. Hi. Hi, come on in. Thanks very much, Mr. Crookmaker. Now, listen, I just want to have a chat. Pay no attention to all the technical stuff. I just have a little chat with you. About oh, is that a Sony BBW 400? Oh, uh, no, 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 I don't need a radio mic. Hey. Boom will do. You'll be able to pick it up on that quite easily. Do you want to stand there for the cutaways? Oh, cheers. Just here, yeah? Just, that'll do, I think. Right, thanks very right, much. Go ahead. So, now, you're a crook maker, yeah? Yes. And this is a crook? This is indeed. Now, what, what, someone says, I have to have a crook. Why? Mm -hmm. Why do I need well, a crook? Well, uh, you're going to catch sheep, you're going to work in a farm, you're going to walk in the hills. Very handy things to have. What about uh, when I go shopping? Uh, only if you want to take the puzzle off the top shelf. Very bl That's very good. That so can I have this, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. And you've made this yourself? Yes, indeed. How long does it take to make? Eight, ten hours. Ten hours of yeah. workmanship. Well, I'll tell you indeed. what. Here's my latest live video, right? Wait. That took me four years to write that stuff. You can have that for yourself. Hmm. You can watch it after you polish the soles. Thanks. Well, you know me, I'd chat to anyone, so here I am having a, a quick talk with Lady McLean about the old history of the island and possibly a little bit about central heating. Who knows? And here we are. Th these are nice snuff mulls. And these really are um, old and... and um, Pretty heavy smoker, wasn't it? No. Well, either you like it or don't like it. I think there's about two ladies who ever use snuff. Um, and then that's about all. I don't think any, any ladies ever use snuff. Have you tried it? No, thank you. No. Never? No, never. never I don't want to. to. No, thank you. And there's Sir Fitzroy at the Battle of Balaclava. He forged his age. He was, said he was 18. He was only 17. That was the He's age limit. He's got a limit. massive beard, hasn't he? For a 17-year-old. No, yeah, this one. Not that oh, one. Right. No, not that one. That one. And, and that's his mm. uniform. No, oh, I thought that was Adam and the Ants stage <laughs> beard. Do you remember that? <laughs> I do. But, I mean, he, he had a lovely, neat little waist, if you look at it. Oh, yeah. I couldn't Could really join the army. Do you think so? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think you'd be very good in the army, probably. I think so, yeah. Yes. I'm a pacifist as well. I wouldn't be very good in the battle. I'd just go flinching a lot. Wouldn't, wouldn't you? Go, wouldn't you yeah. protect yourself if you wanted to? I'd run, yeah. Yes, run. Well, there you are, then. Oh, what a lovely meal that was. <clears throat> well, I've just been reading this book, Midges, because I've been bitten t to death all day by them. This book shows you how to deal with them. 
It's very good. Right now, a lovely little cigarette. That's what I like after a meal. Excuse me, sir, but I'm afraid we don't permit smoking in the restaurant. Oh, no. It's raining outside as well. Flip. Find some sort of a shed or something. Oh, oh time for a cigarette. Just sneak in here. Pat, Pat, why could you no recant? Why must you put us to such torture for the hollow mockery of a crown? Sorry. May its thorns stick in your heed. Yeah. Have crook, we'll travel. Yeah. Here to help you on the farm. Yeah. Come in. Fine, come on in. Now look, you're a dog, right? These are sheep. Sheep, dog. I have to train you, okay? Sheep, dog. Sheep, dog. Sheep, dog. That's it. You're getting the idea now, aren't you? Here, Sean. Fill this full of potatoes. Is there a shop nearby, is there? Sean! Sean! Yeah, coming. What does he want now? Okay, Sean, you want to give us a hand bath the sheep? I don't bathe myself, actually, I don't. We're getting them ready for it. I give a talk to the Could win the Olympics like that. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. That should do the trick. Grab that. This cook comes in dead handy for everything, doesn't it? You missed a bit over there. Maybe I could just direct you. Yeah. Maybe videotapes and programs you're missing while you're doing this. Grab it in. <laughs> OK. Oh, the farming life for me, I think. I think he's enjoying himself now. Uh, we have here Ned's Atomic Dustbin. They're on the way to Glastonbury. All right, lads. How you doing? Have a good gig later on. See the moody, shoegazing kind of uh, feel about them. Got the horns, like, you know. Aww. Have a good gig. There's a drummer at the back there. He's been smoking marijuana all day. Very moody. And, guys, I thought the second album was way below par, really. How do you expect to get on top of the pops with haircuts like that? Huh? I can't even see your eyes, you know. <laughs> He's the lead singer from now on, right? Well, my time in Mull has come to an end. It's time to go to Pastures New, I think. I've enjoyed my little stay here, because I'm not one of these pathetic tourists like from London who says, well, everything's so much bigger in London and everything's really tiny in Mull and the pace of life's terrible. It's pathetic, it really is, like, you know. Train to an app. Uh, maybe Manchester, please. 